We would, if we want to talk about, stop. I get stop. more time. Stop. 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 The microphone is turned off. Nobody's hearing you. Tense moments at tonight's Santee City Council meeting where for the first time we got to hear from the transgender woman at the center of a debate over a locker room policy. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetta. I'm Marcella Lee. This all started two weeks ago when a 17 year old girl said she was quote terrified after seeing who she thought was a naked man in the women's locker room. Since then there have been protests and support for the transgender woman who found herself in the middle of it all. CBS 8's Richard Allen was at tonight's meeting where the woman shared how she's feeling about all of this along with the next steps for the city of Santee. Well, that's right. Tonight, 66 year old Kristen Wood took the same podium, saying she's sorry that this forum was previously used to spread lies and a hateful political agenda. The amount of organized hatred and lies to vilify and demonize me and other members of the transgender community has truly been disheartening and disgusting. Wood, a mother and grandmother who told tonight's audience she has fully transitioned from male to female, defended herself, following Rebecca Phillips' account of seeing her as she stepped out of the shower in the Santee YMCA locker room last month. As I was showering after my workout, I saw a naked male in the women's locker room. I immediately went back into the shower, terrified. I am a threat to no one. In the year I've been a member of the Y, children have attended summer camp and have been with their parents and grandparents in the women's locker room with me, and there has never, ever been an incident, ever. Would supporters pack the Santee Council Chambers Wednesday night and also spoke out. I would feel incredibly comfortable with my children in the locker room with Chrissy. The trans community has watched this unfold, and they have a vict been a victim to this harm. If we want to protect women and children, we need to focus on how hate deeply wounds us. While well, critics of the YMCA's policy of allowing people to use the changing area that aligns with their gender identity, which state law requires, also had their say. I am a woman, and I say no more to men gender appropriating women. This is a war on women, children, and the truth, capital T. And the enemy is disguised in high heels, lipstick, and a shaved beard. Honey, I don't run yeah. from lies and threats and bullies. That's just not in my DNA. After their comments, Wood said she had nothing to say to them. I talk to people with love in their heart, with compassion, with common decency, and who don't try to take a perverted message that clings to junk science. And at the end, Santee's mayor said that he is working with the YMCA here in Santee to make sure that everyone feels safe and valued there. He also says he doesn't know what that looks like yet, but we are going to get there.